What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news this time of year. We cover it all the time, it seems like. It seems like every single day we have brand new WWE AEW action figure news just dropping on us, and that's because it is San Diego Comic-Con time. This week, it is the week of San Diego Comic-Con, the most exciting time to be a wrestling figure collector, to be an action figure collector, or just collectible collector is this time of year, man, because we're going to get so many new exclusives, so many new things, so many new things revealed to us from all different toy lines, all different collectible lines, all across the globe. This is the week that we're going to be shown it from all across the board. Mattel, Jazzwares, doesn't matter. Whatever you collect, it's going to be shown off for, for the rest of the year. The products that we're going to be getting, the figures we're going to be getting, the insane announcements and details of each set will be revealed to us throughout this week, and it's very, very insane, man. But today, we have Elite Series 99 released to us here by my man Painmaker Figs. He's been incredibly accurate in the past, so I have no doubt about it that he will be accurate here again. So a huge shout out to Painmaker Figs for the announcement on this wave. And I I don't know. I'm kind of a mixed emotions about the set, which we'll get into, of course. But Elite Series 99, we're going to dive into the full wave here, break it all down, showcase it. Then we're going to run through Elite Series 95 through 99 and kind of detail that. So if you guys do not know what Elite Series 95 through 99 is, that will update you all the way up to 99. And then, of course, I imagine this week, we will see all of these figures in their render images or possible prototypes seen on display at Comic-Con. And then we may even get Elite 100 announced to us this week, which I'm excited for. Cannot wait to see what the details are of that set specifically and who's going to be in the line and all of those different things, man. But a huge shout out to Painmaker for the info. Here's Elite Series 99. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first figure in Elite Series 99 that I have to get out of the way immediately is going to be Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is returning to the WWE Elite line. I do believe this is his first Elite figure since Elite Series 32 if you're counting Cody Rhodes, but if you're counting Stardust, which is actually a Cody figure, but you know, not under the character Cody, this will be the first Elite in over 60 series because it'll be Elite Series 36 Stardust would have been the last time that we saw him, but I imagine it will be his return gear, or it may not be. It, it may not be. Maybe they're saving that for an Ultimate Edition, of course, which we are going to get a Cody Ultimate. We're going to have a Cody Supreme to compare to the Cody Ultimate. Cody getting all kinds of great great figures, man. But Cody is here in Elite Series 99. The figure is going to be incredible, man, with the formula they're going to use and the double jointed arms and the attire and the accessories. I cannot wait to see what this figure looks like. And I imagine it's going to be his WrestleMania gear versus Seth Rollins, or it could be one of his other gears. We'll have to see. Nonetheless, it's going to be a beautiful figure and I cannot wait for it. So Cody Rhodes confirmed from Elite 99. So anybody that was guessing he would be in Elite 100, that is not going to happen, or at least not right now. I guess everything's subject to change, but for right now, it is Cody Rhodes. And I didn't really think he'd be in Elite 100. I've, I've went over what I thought Elite 100 would be, and he was never in that, you know, in that vicinity for me, so we'll have to see. But the next figure in the set is going to be Matt Riddle. Yes, Matt Riddle returning to the set. I think the last time we saw him was Elite Series 89 or 88, and it was in the orange gear, you guys know, with the double jointed arms. It was a really great figure. Before that, we also had the Elite 78, I think, Matt Riddle, I think it was, right? Or maybe 79. He's had some really great figures. His second figure was a lot better than his first, but Matt Riddle's figure here for Elite 99 should be really badass. Hopefully, it'll come with another jacket. Both of his figures have come with cloth goods. Both of them have come with removable slides. His last figure was really great because it had the double jointed arms and the interchangeable hands. And just, it was it was great. It was really, really great. I know his first figure did too, but his second figure really set it off. Even though it wasn't my favorite gear, maybe we'll get a sick gear with sick accessories. Matt Riddle should be a really great figure here. So, this will be a fun one. I can't wait to see what Elite 99 Riddle looks like. And maybe, again, we'll see a render image of that this week. But that is the first two figures in the set. Moving on to the next figure in the set, it is going going to be Tommaso Ciampa, or Ciampa, whatever you prefer, but who the hell knows what this is going to be. If it's the ringside exclusive formula, which I imagine it would be, I, this is going to be a really solid figure. I thought that figure was great, as long as they don't give him the Daniel Bryan torso and they stick with that Seth Rollins torso, stick with that really nice ripped up torso, it's going to be a really great figure. I, I think that this will be a beautiful one. I don't know how you really go away from the ringside exclusive, because the ringside exclusive is pretty up to date, right? Like, I don't think that it's too far out of the realm of possibility. Uh, I just don't see what else they could give us there. I mean, it's going to be a great figure. All of Ciampa's figures so far have been great. I mean, his Hall of Champions one was a bit eh, you know, it's kind of middle of the road, but I think any Ciampa updated figure with updated formula will be great. That ringside exclusive was a really good figure, even though I don't prefer the baby legs that they give him. It'll, see, it'll be damn good. I imagine it will be really, really good, so hopefully Ciampa will get a great figure here, but Ciampa getting his first figure in the main Elite line in like 30 series, so that's kind of insane. 
elite. This will be his fourth elite, I think. You had the Hall of Champions. You had the Elite 69, which is an, a legendary wave. You have the Ringset Exclusive, and now you have the Elite 99. So Ciampa has his fair share of figures right there, not including basics. Next up in the set is Zelina Vega. We have Queen Vega right here. Now, I don't know how many people... I, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. It will be great because this will be the best version of Zelina Vega that we've seen, given that it'll have double jointed arms, given that it'll have updated details and different things. I imagine it will be her Queen of the Ring look with the scepter and the crown and all those different accessories. Guarantee it'll be that. I think this will be a good figure. Not a figure that I necessarily wanted because I felt like her other figures were pretty good. I think they live up to that, but at the same time, to get that updated in there, I don't think it was desperately needed, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. It's it's a solid female figure in there. I'd like to see an updated Bailey. I think. I know we just got the Survivor Series not too long ago, but I think she could deserve like a pretty good figure there. It's been a minute since we saw Rhea Ripley, but you know, I, I don't know. Who, who am I? You know, I, I don't know. But next up in the set is going to be Chad Gable. We have Chad Gable right here. Now, his first Elite was pretty good. His first two Elites were very good when he was a part of American Alpha. You guys also know that we had the Shorty G Basic figure. He's had a decent amount of figures in the line there, but this Elite will probably be his best, right? If they give him the right formula, hopefully his formula will not be god-awful. Hopefully it'll be a solid head sculpt, double-jointed arm. His first few figures were really articulated and really nice, and they were just single-jointed arms. So imagining a Chad Gable with double-jointed arms and being able to do all the things that he can do in the ring, you know, I think that'll be really good. And alongside Chad Gable to complete our set will be Otis. Yes, we have Otis here, so we do have our tag team of Chad Gable and Otis. I imagine they'll probably come with the, the tag team championships or something like that. They'll be updated. You guys know that Otis already has an update. It's kind of crazy. This will be our third elite Otis figure that we have seen in the main elite line. Kind of insane. I mean, I know he won the Money in the Bank contract, right? So that's kind of insane as well. But to see him have his third elite in the main elite line, that's that's more than a lot of guys can say. So that's kind of insane to say that. But you have Riddle, Cody, Ciampa, Otis, Chad Gable, and Zelina Vega for your full Elite Series 99. I saw a lot of people clamoring about this wave, saying that it's an epic wave. Do you guys feel it's like an epic wave? I think it's a solid wave for sure. I don't know if it's an epic wave, but it's a really good wave. It's a, it's a wave that I am looking forward to. I'm actually excited to see what these head sculpts look like, what the formulas are, what attires we're going to get, and all those different things. I think that'll kind of separate me between, you know, an amazing, incredible epic wave and just a regular, decent, good wave. So we'll have to see about that. But Elite 99 is complete there. But I do want to run through Elite Series 95 through 96 so that you guys will know exactly what you're getting your hands on as we continue on here. So starting off with Elite Series 95, this is a wave that is up for pre-order, I do believe, on Ringside Collectibles. It's the next, it's the next wave that we're going to be getting here. So for Elite Series 95, you have Big E, you have John Cena, Jimmy Uso, which is actually Jey Uso, you have Shotzi Blackheart, you have Eddie Guerrero, and you have Bobby Lashley, and then Eddie Guerrero is the chase variant in that set. So that is your Elite Series 95 figures. For Elite Series 96, you have Brock Lesnar, Hulk Hogan, King Shinsuke Nakamura, you have Ilya Dragunov, Kofi Kingston, and then you have Dewdrop, who is the Chase variant. Now, I know for a fact we're going to see Elite Series 96. Like, that's, that's a given, right? But after this, we have Elite Series 97. In Elite Series 97, you have Omos... Chainsaw Charlie, Sheamus, Xavier Woods, Ronda Rousey, and Alexa Bliss. So that's a pretty interesting wave of characters right there. That'll be a decent little job right there. Well, I, I imagine we'll get to at least see render images of these guys, maybe even prototypes of those at San Diego Comic-Con. Then we have Elite Series 98, which is going to feature Mandy Rose, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Big E again, Rick Boogs, and then the flashback Farouk that we have not yet seen a look of. And then we did just cover Elite Series 99 here in this video. So that is Elite Series 95 through 99, and we are approaching Series 100, man. So pretty epic stuff. You guys know that San Diego Comic-Con is this week. We're going to do full coverage here on the channel. We will break it all down. It'll probably be a 40, 45, maybe an hour-long video of us breaking down every single image, breaking down all the details of what we saw and including everything. I'll include the details of the sets and, you know, any interesting details we will cover here on the channel, man, and we'll break it all down for you guys. So come back as we check it all out. It should be, it should probably start with preview night. We'll probably get some cool stuff on Wednesday night, maybe late, because they will have
Live preview night where people go in there. Maybe they'll show off one or two figures. I will cover that on the channel before Thursday, and then or maybe Thursday morning, depending on how late that is. And then Thursday we should have coverage like all day, probably uploading in the afternoon. And then on Friday I'll probably be the same thing. We may not even get new images on Friday. They may unleash everything on on Thursday. Maybe they'll show off more stuff on Friday, and then they may show off even more stuff on Saturday. So it could just be uh, you know a week long extravaganza of epic reveals. But I expect some great and epic things. I've already seen a few things that I'm very, very excited about and I cannot wait to dive into everything fully and hopefully there are some things that come to our to our knowledge that we have zero clue about. There's plenty of figures out there that we have not seen fully that are on the cusp, but so that should be really fun. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out's going to go to Dead Brothers who says, HBK never wore kick pads, just laziness on Mattel. All these years there's still no accurate HBK boot mold. Total accuracy right there, man. Total accuracy. He didn't ever wear kick pads. He wore the strap boots or the dirt bike boots depending on you know what era it was but uh yeah I, I i totally agree there i think that they could make Shawn michaels much better if they actually did what he's supposed to look like i don't know why they give him kick pads i guess it's because it's just a lot easier to do but yeah i'm the same boat man i would love to see them redesign his lower legs redesign his boots completely give us this full straps paint them up correctly you know uh, give us a new mold it's been long enough i think they could really make some banger shawns and hopefully that'll be the case maybe that'll be something that they actually give to us but that is going to do it for today's random shout out i totally agree there there, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and get ready for the week.